Ooh, it's time to challenge the impossible Team Rocket leaders here in Pokemon Go thanks to some mistake that Niantic has made to the coding to make them really really difficult so hi hi to all of you guys so let me go ahead and bring my screen up and for those of you who do not know what I'm talking about basically there's an issue that has been going on for the last few days for the Team Rocket battles so let's go ahead and check out this particular website uh, Niantic Help Shift and under the known issues section the page we can actually see under the first issue that uh, Pokemon Go has mentioned after a charged move or a switch there is no attack delay from Team Go Rocket or Team Leader so under the issue description after a charged move or a switch Team Rocket um, and Team Rock Team Leaders are expected to pause before they begin fast attacking the trainer again However, the pause does not happen which may increase difficulty in battling. I think it's not may increase but it definitely increased because a lot of people have been having issue um, to fight against the team Go Rocket leaders especially those who are trying to get to level 50 where you need to use under 2500 CP Pokemon to fight the leaders which is really really extremely tough. So I fought them for the last few days and it's just insane. So right now I'm standing uh, next to 3 Sierras and Cliff. Alright, we're gonna fight Sierra over here, this particular Sierra, and uh, you know what? This is my usual theme of uh, defeating a Sierra. However, because her first Pokemon is Nidoran and I want to play in a safer manner, I'm gonna use Lucario instead. And I'm not gonna use Lucario as the first slot, I am also, I'm gonna use Luc not Luca, Luca. Lucario as the second slot. I'm gonna switch in Lucario. Um, actually, you know what? I would use a Swampert as the first uh, Pokemon. Hang on, give me a sec. Okay, let's uh, not, not Simpert. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So then I'll switch into Lucario. So the thing about uh, stun locking the Team Rocket leaders or the grunts though, um, just give me a second to explain it. There are four ways to actually stun lock the uh, Team Rocket uh, leaders. Basically, the first way is for them to use their charge move. The second way is for you to use your charge move. The third way is for you to switch your Pokemon. Or for the fourth way is when their Pokemon faint and they switch to another Pokemon. When that happens, before this update was implemented, the delay is 2.5 seconds, basically it's 5 turns. However, with this mistake that Niantic has done, the delay is just 1 second, which essentially is 2 turns. 3 turns difference, it's a very, very big difference. Alright, so let's go ahead to um, fight Sierra now, pulling an instant switch into Locario. When we pull a switch right now, there's still a delay of 1 second. But if you were to use your charge move or them, use their charge move or them switching, there is no delay. I'll see the Nidoran actually did not attack for like one second so there's still a delay all right if you actually switch but there is no delay at all when they after they have used their charge move or after you have used your charge move it's just insane see instantly attacking you again we're going to use our power up punch and my lucario is not running a shadow ball i should have used shadow ball on this but it's okay not to worry it should be fine also hopefully though her next pokemon usually is a poison type pokemon which kind of sucks also all right so we're going to let this go through again i'm going to save my shoes for the second and third Pokemon because those two are the ones that hit harder and furthermore because my Lucario is a steel typing Pokemon it's immune to the it's immune to the poison fang that the needle ran is throwing at it so it's totally fine all right so let's go ahead to now uh, charge up some um, some more energy all right another <laughs> fast move coming in man all right see it's just insane how quickly it attacks and I don't think it will go down. I probably will suffer one more poison sting damage. Okay, nope, that's good. Let's see what's gonna come in. It's gonna instantly attack though. So I'm gonna use Aura Sphere instantly. All right, see. Oh my God, that's just insane. All right, let's go ahead to um, use our Aura Sphere. There might be a bit of lag just now when the the Veloplume switch in, which is kind of good. All right, see, look, I'm dead already. Look at how fast that is. All right, so we're gonna go with our Darkrai. Okay, I do not know if I can get to the charge move though, but if you can, it's okay. Uh, actually, it's not okay because uh, the Swampert cannot survive the uh, Razor Leaf at all. So, okay. I mean, it's better to scout to know what Pokemon they are using because uh, it's really difficult. The last Pokemon usually is weak to ground. So I can just uh, use my Swampert. And my Swampert is not using uh, the uh, Earthquake because I was trying out different moves with the Swampert. Although, you know, with the Earthquake, it basically one-shot KOs the Houndoom. Now, with this... You know, you can't really stun lock the uh, Houndoom so much so that you can keep on spamming moves over and over again. So um, it's kind of different. Um, I need to shield this. If it's a crunch, it, it will go bye-bye. Yep, Flamethrower also probably will go bye-bye because it's just too painful. But Foul Play also will go bye-bye. One-shot KO my uh, Swampert. So you have to 
reserve your shields for the second and third Pokemon. Most of the time when we fight the leaders last time before this thing was implemented, this mistake was made by Niantic, we can actually shield up against the first Pokemon. But now with this like this, you have to shield up against the second and third Pokemon because they hit harder than the first Pokemon most of the time. Alright, other than when you suffer super effective damage from the first Pokemon, assuming if you're really unlucky to have chosen the wrong Pokemon. Alright, so we're gonna catch the Needle Ren. It's not a shiny, but it's totally fine. We're gonna fight Cleave next. I actually bought myself two extra Rocket Radars so that I can uh, do this video without needing to actually go and fight them again, fight the Grunts again to get the components. So let's go ahead and fight Cleave now. And Cleave. I normally use this team to actually fight Cleave. However, with the difficulty being increased, I would actually have to switch the position of my Pokemon by, uh, I guess, starting off with uh, Machamp first and then uh, using my Mewtwo later on to like uh, burn the shields. Yep, and uh, normally why I use Mewtwo is because his uh, second Pokemon is usually weak to Mewtwo, hence he can one-shot it. But in this case, it's going to be slightly different. We're going to pull a switch into Mewtwo right now. You see there's a bit of a stun lock over there, which is good. And then uh, we're going to use our side strike on the Grimer to burn the first shield. Okay. And then uh, we don't need to slide at all because uh, he's going to shield up. Don't have to waste that 9.5 seconds to actually like uh, slide the <laughs> screen or whatsoever. Alright, so we got a charge move coming. You can decide whether you want to shield this or not. I'm not going to shield this because uh, I believe I can get to my side strike. Again, yep, I can get to my side strike. Nice. And uh, this would burn the shields. No shields left for the uh, for the cleave. Alright. And then we are going to try and psycho cut it down. But obviously we're gonna get taken out very very quickly. We're gonna bring in our um, let's see now, wait for a few seconds for it to for the timer to cool down. Alright, we're gonna bring in our Tyranita. Okay, to like smack down the uh, the uh, Grimer, let's see what's his second Pokemon. His second Pokemon is a fighting type Pokemon that's not good for us. We're gonna switch into our our Machamp. Okay, which kind of sucks also because we are going down very quickly. Look at that. It's just insane. It's just insane. It's just insane. It's just madness. It's madness. See, it's madness. Let me try it again against Cleave. Oh my god, that was madness, man. Hang on. So now that I know that he has Machamp as his second Pokemon, we're gonna use double Mewtwo's. Alright, let's see how this plays out. Okay, we're gonna bring out Machamp and then switch into our, um, you know, Mewtwo first. The one to use to burn shields uh, with the side strike. Though we could have used a better Pokemon to actually burn the shields like a Swampert or, um, you know, something better so that does not suffer super effective from ground and poison type moves. Alright, I mean Mewtwo isn't suffer, su suffer, suffering super effective, it's just that it could have been better. I'm gonna let this go through, I believe it should be fine. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, we survived that. Can we actually get to a side strike? Uh, yes, we do. Oh my god, the, the mud slap came in, but the damage did not go through. But we're gonna faint after this side strike goes through, because the damage has already gone through. Okay, okay, did not go through. Sometimes it does, sometimes it does not, it's so weird. Alright, we're going to bring our Mewtwo, Shadow Mewtwo And uh, the Machamp is going to come in With counters, it's not going to do super effective damage to our Mewtwo Alright, so there's also a slight delay in terms of for them to switch to their next Pokemon It's kind of weird also uh, Which kind of sucks also um, We're going to have to use a side Strike This will take out the uh, Machamp one shot Alright And then uh, we are going to see that we got a Fire-type Pokemon That's Charizard It would be nice if we have the Tyranita But we do not have it right now Which kind of sucks Alright So we, on, we are only left with our Machamp But the Machamp ain't going to do a lot of damage to it Because it is going to resist the moves from my uh, Machamp Okay but uh, the Dragon Claw, you see, after the Dragon Claw, the next move comes in already. It's just insane. Is close combat going to be enough, man? I believe it should be enough. I mean, I'm using a Shadow Machamp, man. I mean, uh, close combat's damage is really, really high. I mean, if I have Rock Slide, it'd be better. Alright. Yeah, okay, one more. Okay, good. My god, my goodness. It's insane, alright. It's insane. Yep, so we defeated Cleave. It's still possible to defeat you know the leaders but it's very 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 difficult it's like probably two or three times more difficult than before the um, you know this update kicked in which is kind of ridiculous to me all right so we are going to catch the grimer it's not a shiny but it's totally fine we're going to look for arlo and then continue the uh, <laughs> challenge i guess against this impossible uh, leader oh thank you very much now it's impossible to play already because my network has hung amazing
Alright guys, after searching around for a bit, I finally found Mr. Arlo. Let's go ahead to fight Arlo right now. So Arlo, this is the team that I used previously to fight against him. This is the team that I normally use to fight against him. Memoswine, Polyrath and also Hitran. However, with the you know current thing that's going on, <laughs> we can't do that. I'm going to use Melmetal instead. Yep, Melmetal is actually a very useful Pokemon. As for my Polyrath, I just want to double check to make sure that I'm using the right Polyrath. Um, I mean, I can use the one with um, Ice Punch. Sorry, that's not the one, this one. Uh, Ice Punch. Um, although Hydro Pump is fine or so, but um, okay, we're going to go, go with that. Because his second Pokemon, Lapras, your best option is actually uh, Polyrath, as it resists all the moves from um, Lapras. So doing super effective with Dynamic Punch also is really, really good. So Melmetal doesn't suffer super effective from both the fast move from Glyga, which is really awesome and we're gonna run uh, rock slide all the way because uh, we want to burn the shields all right so um, we're not gonna have to slide this at all because <laughs> it's gonna shield anyways right as usual all right so we burn the first shield I'm not gonna use super power because that would debuff me uh, I'm thinking if I need to shield this or not I mean it's gonna be a uh, night slash I presume so I might even be dig all right because a uh, dig will do super effective to um, my Melmetal Alright, but his area is, so that's okay. I'm gonna let this uh, go through again. I might actually just let the next uh, charge move uh, go through and not even shield up or so, but I think I can get to the rock slide before he actually activates his next charge move. Alright, maybe not, man. <laughs> Alright, so I'm thinking if I need to shield this or not. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna use one shield against uh, the Glyga. And then uh, we will see how. Okay, see, I'm even thinking to just like do two Thunder Shocks first before I actually do my next charge mode because usually you can do three thunder shocks or like counters before the opponent actually does uh, the move but uh, in this case you can't because <laughs> they're gonna instantly uh, attack already so it's just a habit of me to actually just do two fast moves first before I fire off my charge move all right so the guy guy is almost uh, down hopefully uh, he uses his charge move again awesome I'm not gonna shield this already I'm going to use my polyrub to try and farm down the uh, Glyga all right, which I'll do so right now. Okay, farm down. Although I'm suffering super effective damage from the wing attack, which kind of sucks. But I'm trying to farm down to get energy to use against the next Pokemon. I'm going to have to shoot this area as it's going to take us out. Yeah, so the Glyga I know is very, 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 very sick. Because of the fast move Fury Cutter and also wing attack. It's just insane. Yeah, that's why I said that Arlo is like the toughest among the three. All right, so we got Lapras coming in. We are going to use our first dynamic punch. All right. And then uh, remember, we are out of shields already, so we gotta be wary of that. All right, it's water gun. It's a water gun Lapras, which kind of sucks. So far, I've not encountered any other moves other than uh, water gun against Arlo ever since uh, this uh, change implemented. I'm gonna bring in my restroom. Hopefully, you can take it down before uh, a surf comes in. All right, and we're gonna just uh, overheat the last Pokemon. Okay, right. We can overheat or Draco Meteor, the last Pokemon, since uh, it's, it's out of shields already. Alright, we're gonna overheat and that's Seesaw. Alright, that was closer than I expected. I mean, if I was using Heat Ran, I wouldn't be able to take down the Lapras. And I might get, you know, uh, a charge move damage from it. And I might even lose. So, okay, we took down Arlo. Very, very difficult. Alright, I, I would say that... This is not the normal Pokemon that I will use against them, but in order to make it safer for myself, um, this is what I'm using, but it's not possible to take down every single uh, combination that they have in terms of Pokemon and in terms of moves with the team that I'm running. So I need to know what they have beforehand, like to fight them one time. If I lose, I have to change my team. But previously, all the teams that I'm running against the three leaders, I can take them out regardless of whatever Pokemon that they have and whatever moves that they have if I play properly and not like screw things up. So yeah, I think uh, that is all that I have to show to you guys, man, in terms of battling the three Team Go Rocket leaders, kind of impossible Team Go Rocket uh, leaders. Really, really difficult, I must say. I hope Ninetech actually uh, changes it soon and not wait for the next update. I mean, it could do it like, like quickly, but I think they're testing things out because I believe for them to have changed this, it has got to do with Go Battle League and not to cause like a lot of latency or lag because they're preparing for the Pokemon Go Championship but I might be wrong and I hope they are you know gonna do something to it soon because trust me it's very very difficult and like I said me using level 50 level 40 Pokemon they are already so difficult to take out the leaders however 
imagine those people who are trying to get to level 50. I know a lot of you guys are, you know, saying that you guys are having difficulty fighting the leaders. Yeah, I, I, I get it. I, I, I knew about it already a few days ago, but I'm thinking like, what's the solution to this? Uh, to be honest, we just have to wait for Niantic to give us the solution. All right. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video of me uh, battling the impossible Team Go Rocket leaders. And uh, hopefully you guys are able to uh, take them out yourselves also. So if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely leave a like on the video. It would be much appreciated. Thank you very much. And I'll see you guys in the next episode in the next video. All right. What are we going to fight? Maybe uh, Giovanni? That will be even more impossible, man. Well, I don't have the Super Rocket Radar anymore, so I can't battle him. All right. So goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.